Good afternoon. It's Tuesday, August 31st, 2010. I'm Jill Eckhart with your Ernerberry Market Report, sponsored by NAMP's 6th edition Meat Buyer's Guide. Today, foodmarket.com is reporting inspection reports released by the Food and Drug Administration on Monday show possible ways that salmonella could have been spread undetected through the vast complexes of two companies. The inspections conducted over the last three weeks were the first to check large compliance by large egg producing companies with new federal egg safety rules that were written well before the current outbreak but went into effect only last month. For more on this story and other news from the center of the plate, head to foodmarket.com. Now, let's set the tone. According to the weekly Shell Egg Inventory Report released yesterday by the USDA, during the past week, total inventory expanded by 9%, with the pure Shell Egg component growing by 12%. The biggest increase was for the extra large size, which advanced by 24%. Looking at poultry in the chicken market, business is very quiet early on with spot trading basic at best. Offerings are adequate at most for the majority of listed lines. Thigh meat is in fair to good shape. Tenders are well supported under a decent call. Boneless can be considered at least steady, but interest has come more selective than in the recent weeks. Wings are showing some added availability and can be rated about steady. Talking turkey, the entire complex is continuing to move along a path with solid footing. Our canvas this morning has revealed, hasn't revealed anything unexpected. Demand is good, but so little production is hitting the streets that business patterns are irregular. Whole birds are reflecting stout position, but in a few transactions are popping up so far this week. As a reminder, check out Erner Berry's turkey letter released this evening on Comtel. Moving over to red meats, noted in our first canvas of the boxed beef market are some isolated offering prices at reduced levels. A few chunk and rib prices were removed lower over were moved lower overnight as those beef processors look to move inventory for quick ship in advance of the approaching Labor Day holiday. Demand for beef remains somewhat subdued for the moment as buyers look to buy for only their immediate needs. In the boneless market, significant trade has yet to develop as of this morning. Undertones for fresh 50s are steady to weaker. Several processors have indicated that product is readily available even for the more desirable delivery dates. Leaner boneless beef is rated about steady. The market for imported beef has been fairly quiet to this point. Sentiments range from steady to firmer. Several traders have reported that the lower end of, our, of some of our quotations is no longer attainable. Our listings are unchanged thus far. Looking at pork, sufficient hog supplies could lead to some lower bids from packers for cash hogs today. Both direct and terminal market hogs are rated steady to weak. Thus far today, hams continue to be held in tight supply. Bellies are rated steady. However, softer undertones linger as many are questioning how long these price levels will hold. Buyers in the fresh pork market are expected to continue purchasing lightly in a hand-to-mouth fashion in resistance to the current levels. As a result, the market is expected to trade about steady to weaker. We'll wrap things up this afternoon with a look at some major economic indicators with James Serpico. Personal income and disposable personal income increased slightly in July, according to the Bureau of Economic Analysis. Uh, based on revised estimates, PCE decreased four, uh, about $4 billion, or less than 0.1% in June. The revised number for real personal income expenditures in the food services and accommodations industry for the second quarter of 2010 adjusted slightly lower from the first estimate of 0.67% increase when compared to the first quarter. This means that real personal income expenditures are still 0.6% ahead in the second quarter in the food and services accommodations industry. Thanks, Jill. Back to you. Thank you, James. Don't forget to check back later this afternoon for Ernerberry's Seafood Market video. That's your Ernerberry Mid-Morning Tone brought to you on Comtel by NAM's 6th edition Meat Buyer's Guide.